What's up? Hey, coming at you live here from MagWest. I don't know how this audio quality is going to be. Um, it's probably pretty noisy and stuff. But I wanted to share what's going on. I've been playing the game here at MagWest uh, and sharing it with people. People haven't played the demo and stuff. Um, and man, it's been pretty exciting. This MagWest is sweet. There's like all these arcade cabinets everywhere. They're all free to play. There's pinball machines. There's people showcasing their indie games. Um, there's live music all day and all night. This arcade room here we're in with like all these um, all these games that you can play. It's 24 hours. People partying. People drinking. Oh, it's great. <laughs> so, um, man, it's been a crazy time. Uh, Recently, I haven't been able to record many videos for Songfinger because I've been mostly doing uh, work that you, I can't really share. Um, it's like sending people emails and handing out Steam codes and setting up stores and working with backends that are confidential and things like that. So uh, that's why there's been so few videos. But uh, man, it's been exciting. Doing things like this, like being at these expos, is really neat um, to to be interacting with people in face to face, you know, seeing how they play the game and all that. It's also, of course, fun to wear my wizard hat. Um, so, I don't know how long this video is gonna be because I have no idea about the audio quality. Let me see what, hold on a second here. Let's see how long this, uh, Well, this sound is. Hello? Hello? Uh, I can see my voice, but I can't. Oh, the sound's going out. I got a kind of crazy setup here. I got um, a TV here on my left that uh, is showing song for you right now. There's people behind me coming in and out of, uh, of this Mag West showcase room. And yeah, so I'm recording basically the game from the external monitor and I'm talking to you here on my other, on my actual laptop. So that's why I'm not sure if I can get the sound situated here but uh, yeah so I tried to live stream just a second ago that was that didn't work that was an epic fail um, I had I basically the the internet is just shit here basically the um, trying to get on the Wi-Fi no it's not gonna happen I couldn't even get on Google's google.com like that's how bad the Wi-Fi was uh, but I tried via iPhone Tether, and that didn't work either. iPhone Tether actually was pretty good for just cruising the web, but when you try and stream, even I even set the stream settings down to like super tiny SD 640 by 360, and that didn't work. So, yeah. So at least I'm trying to record a video here and share a little bit of this moment. Um, Maybe what I'll do, actually, since there's no one playing right now, um, maybe I'll actually just start a playthrough, like start to play for a little bit. That'd be quite fun. Play the Steam version, though. So yeah, at these at these events and stuff like that, I have a special demo version of Songbringer that's like meant to be like the 10 minute version of playing Songbringer. And you start off with so your sword, bombs, um, and all that kind of stuff. So it's not quite like the full experience of playing Songbringer. You start off with all your items, you start off with basically a save slot. So it's already made some progress. So I'm gonna actually play and I'm gonna play the Steam full version. Let's see how this goes. 
I've got the sound down on the, the TV externally here, so hopefully that makes this recording a little bit better. Well, damn, I really wanted to chat with y'all. Whoops. Launched on the wrong window there. Damn. I got this. Janky stream from live from MagWest. Here we go. It's, ah, it's not even a stream. Janky video from MagWest. Sorry for the janky video, but let's play the game a little bit, eh? I'm gonna continue on with this quest I started with the World Engine. Play for a little bit. Not doing my normal speedrun style, just doing a late. If only I had a joint right now. Okay, so I think I already, I already beat this dungeon. Alright. No, okay, wait, I haven't beat this dungeon because I don't have acid yet. Yeah. Oh. So I already explored up this way a bit. Found some items. What? What happened there? Did I start with low health? chatting with you all right now. If anybody's watching this on YouTube, I wish this was live on Twitch, but because because of iPhone tethering and poor internet quality at conventions like this, okay, so I can explore that. I'm getting my bearings on this save file here. Oh, all right, so. Waterfall. 
take the hit. What's it like? Yeah. Nice. How's it going, man? I'm doing well. I do a lot of audio clips in the video games. Yeah, nice. I'm actually going to beta for an alpha game that we made last semester. Huh? And we're going next semester my last semester, so... Sweet. Yeah. And we graduate. Congratulations. Thanks. Tell me about your game. Uh, it's like a procedurally generated Zelda style game. Oh, nice. Yeah. Has it done? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course, man. Thank you. Yeah. I was looking for someone without a bag. And they just said, oh, we have this bag that we're going to use to drag. All right. So, you want to play? Sure. Cool. Um, it's already got all sound and everything. Yeah. I'm recording a little video here, so your play will be recorded, actually. Uh, but yeah, I'll see you're playing the book. I'll let you play this. Normally people play the uh, the demo, but this is like, oh, whoops. Oh, wait, wait. Sorry, I gotta get you started over. It got all it got all crazy on you. I gotta get switched to the demo. Yeah. Everything's all sped up. Because it's got a demo, or a, a demo feature, basically. I mean... Uh, debug features that are running on it. Okay. There you go. And if you can beat a boss in the demo, you get a shirt. Nice. Tell me about uh, your inspiration. Uh, well, it's it's largely inspired by old 8-bit style games, like especially the first Legend of Zelda, but also like Secret of Mana and all the other like action RPGs back in the day. Crystallis is one of my favorite games of all time. And then so you're it's like Zelda, but your world is generated and all of it based on those letters you just gave here. Nice, that's awesome. That's actually really cool. Oh, hi there. Ozzy is like the most powerful boss. So. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, oh, so. Yeah, so in the full version, you start with nothing. You never, you don't start with any items. This is just meant to give you like a 10 minute experience of Songbringer, so you kind of have to start with some items. So, what is that? That's your top hat. So you throw your top hat like a boomerang, and it picks up items. That's your dash or blink ability. You can use it to dodge enemies, but also later on you can use it to traverse things. It gets more powerful. It can get upgraded as you get make progress throughout the world. And then yeah, yeah. Then both the R buttons do that. Yep. And that's your cactus. So those those will heal you. Why button? And then B is your bombs. Yeah. And the bombs and the cactuses are limited. But you did find an item. I did? Yeah, down there in that bike. The bomb. I don't see it. It's a shiny thing right here. So. Things. He scans their 
them and finds loot. Basically. I feel like Odd Jumper. Yeah! There used to be an achievement called Odd Job for that. Nice. But it was a really difficult achievement to get, so oh. it's been it's been put on hold for now. But eventually the odd job achievement will be back. Because okay. you had to beat the whole game with only getting the top half. Like you couldn't you couldn't get bombs, you couldn't get the sword. map down there in the bottom left and the green dots are showing you where there's some dungeons and normally you don't even start with those green dots the green dots are there um, because you have in this save file basically you, you already used an item that gives you the green dots they're called scanner drones and they wow. fly out and they can uh, and they find stuff for you fire yeah wow uh, watch out yeah, so you get psychedelic powers, too. Like, it'll show you where secrets are when you use the cactus. I haven't seen any show up yet, though. It's like, it's not every screen that has secrets, but a good third or a fourth of every screen has some kind of secret on it. This is a dungeon? This is just an item uh, place where you can buy stuff. Yeah, so that's gonna 
drop you, there's two dungeons, and this is the harder of the two. So this one will drop you in straight into a boss fight. The other dungeon is one that will allow you to just play through the dungeon first. Uh, so, uh, oh, you're out of, you're out of cactuses. Yeah. You're in the you can get a little bit in the boss fight, but it's a risky proposition. Yeah, you have the t-shirt there. It's really <laughs> <intense to the link. laughs> Do I go through the boss fight or do I try and uh, die somewhere else? That's your choice. So, okay, I'll help you, I'll prep you with this boss fight. There's gonna be these two little dragons on the sides and then a big dragon up top. If you kill the two little dragons on the sides, it really helps. And they, they're shooting all these little ice beams at you and the ice beams will freeze you and that's really bad. So you really kind of got to dodge the ice beams with your, yeah, with this blink ability and try and kill the little dragons first. And these two things are help when you want to refill the little black things. I got dark ones or light ones? Uh, let's see. Yeah, they kind of look like that. Lighter ones. Like, uh, like that one. Okay. I don't know. Okay, so let's see. I got medium, large, extra large. Is it close? I can just put it on top of this shirt. I have one on top of this shirt. Damn! <laughs> Oh! Oh, okay. It's large, but it's a light. Whoops! That's not what I meant to do. I actually didn't see it. Oh, that's alright. Oh, the large is a light one. Oh, that's just the large one. Yeah. Or, I mean, yeah, it's just a light one. And it's available on Steam. Next week. Next week. Yeah, it finally comes out next Friday. Awesome. Yeah. Just pulling out some bug fixes and all that. What's that? Just yeah. pulling out the bug fixes. Basically, yeah, I've been doing that for the last, like, three months. <laughs> so, nice. it's mostly mostly bug-free at this point, but there'll still be a few. I'm going to open this up real quick. Nice. You want to it that way? Yeah. Diary stuff like are you going like Peter or someplace? Oh totally man. I thought I gave you did I give you a card? No. 
Oh, here you go. Yeah, so there's my, there's my Twitter awesome. on the back. Yeah, wizard underscore food. Kind of an interesting to have a like a video from a live event. Um, I wish I could have live streamed this, but iPhone tether, <laughs> iPhone tether ain't happening. It's been really fun sharing the game with people. That's what I do. Play the game some more. Looking forward to the rest of the events here, actually, tonight. Um, there's more music here at MacFest. There's or MacWest. Um, there's some more video games to play. I've actually never played since there's since this place has like all of these games just free to play, all these arcade games and stuff free to play. Um, I went and played a dance game last night for the first time. I've never played a dance game before. That was crazy, let me tell you. But it got me really warm. I was cold before that and then I started playing this dance game and I'm like, ah, I'm getting hot. <laughs> that was fun. But anyways, I don't even know if this video has anywhere near decent audio quality. So I am gonna turn off the recording now. I hope it was I hope this turned out alright. I'll probably upload it even if it isn't alright. So you can just kinda get what it's like here. But uh thanks for watching. I appreciate you all. And uh catch you on the next video.